2013 Subaru Outback. This vehicle using a new Subaru FB series boxer engine. And I believe Subaru used that engine for quite some time after 2013. And what we're gonna do today is work on valve cover gaskets. Obviously you can't see an issue from the top, but under the vehicle you can definitely see that valve cover leaking oil on driver's side and leaking on passenger side. I also have no idea when spark plugs were replaced. So I'm gonna replace spark plugs and I'm very confident that spark plug tube seals are leaking. So I'm gonna replace those as well. That's for another video. So I have four original spark plugs, four spark plug tube seals, obviously original, left side valve cover gasket and right side valve cover gasket. Some of these items are purchased on Amazon, some from Subaru dealership. It depends what you get, some of it can be cheaper dealership, some cheaper on Amazon, but I'll leave Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of this video. I'm going to start from passenger side, just because this side is easier, has better access, and I need to get some experience from easier side, as far as removing ignition coil connectors and really anything else. So once I get more familiar with this process, then I'm going to move on the tougher side. I'm going to start by removing this. Now I'm gonna remove this portion. A missing clip here. Gonna loosen this one. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove this hose. Maybe that's it. Let's see. gonna remove this hose from a bracket here and I'm gonna remove mass airflow sensor connector now it's all should come off I'm gonna replace filter but that's gonna be in another video I'm gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt There is one more right here. Now hopefully I'll be able to remove it. Okay. So try to move some stuff around. Just have a little easier access here. It's definitely gonna be tough filming here, but I'll do my best. There's a whole bunch of oil on ignition coils, but I'm gonna start by removing this fuel cover, and I think it's just two 10 millimeter bolts. Now I can remove this cover. Now I have to work on ignition coils. I think I'm gonna try to first remove the bolt. Looks like it's the same exact bolt as the one that's holding this fuel line protector. And ignition coil is just covered in oil. Now that I have this connector visible, hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to remove it. Pretty easy. Just push on this piece right here. I'm gonna try to disconnect the other one. So 
I'm gonna try to remove this 10 millimeter. Pull out this one. Same thing. Try to spray some brake parts cleaner in, in there. Now I'm gonna remove a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts that hold this valve cover in place. And I'm gonna use quarter inch ratchet just because I think it's easier to get to it with a smaller one. So the one bolt here in the middle I can't reach with quarter inch socket and ratchet. I think my socket is pretty big. I think this should do it. I use this in a bunch of other applications before. I definitely need to invest in uh, low profile ratchets. Okay, two middle bolts are out and I think I have, if I'm not mistaken, six more to go. Three at the bottom, three at the top. And I want to do the bottom ones first. So to me, it's a lot easier to move the three at the bottom through here. Unfortunately, there is no way for me to mount the camera where you could see me doing that. But here, I can at least see the bolts when I'm removing them and probably that's what I'll do when I'm gonna put everything back together one more out and I see one more right there now be careful see there are two bolts here I'm gonna make sure you get the right one And there is one more, hopefully you can see it. And it's out, let's work on top now. Okay, I think we just have to remove three bolts on top. Two more. I believe that's it, let's see if you'll be able to take it off. Gonna try to use a screwdriver. There we go. It looks like this get in the way, so it's tough for me to remove it through here, which means I might have to move the crank a little. Can I remove this 10 millimeter bolt? Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to loosen the tension with this and this 22 millimeter. Ratchet, I'm gonna try to move the crank pull on shorter socket, so it should work now. I'm very optimistic that it's gonna work now, because as you can see, all of those are away now, that none of them are facing me. And it's out. I'm gonna try to remove those tube seals. Came off pretty easy. And it's very, very hard. Let's get the other one out. Also came off easy. Now I'm gonna try to remove the spark plugs. Very bloody work. There you go. Okay, let's work on another one. Let's see if I'll be able to just put this. And then this.
Okay, spark plugs are out. There was pain to do, but I'm gonna immediately put the replacement spark plugs in. Make sure you can tighten them first, pretty much all the way. You wanna make sure you don't cross thread spark plugs, because if you do, you're, you're pretty much screwed. Torque spec is 13 foot per pound for spark plugs. Good. By the way, spark plugs, old one, actually don't look bad. Mostly issue I have is actual oil in them. Now I'm going to work on the cover. Now you have to attach a liquid gasket. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna clean this side as much as I can. For this, I'm gonna use actually Honda Bond. I don't think there's anything better than that. And insert those two tube seals. Before putting it in, in the final pipe, this brake parts cleaner. I'm gonna look again, make sure there is no dirt there. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna put it in. Just gonna hand tight couple bolts. We start securing the middle ones first. Just follow that sequence to tighten everything back. Okay, so far I spent about three hours Valve cover is in. I'll wait a couple days before actually starting the vehicle, but now I'm gonna work on putting the ignition coils in. They're still covered in oil, so I'm gonna use brake parts cleaner just to clean them out of oil. I'm gonna also put a little bit of dielectric grease in there. I'm gonna clean those connectors just a little bit too. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of dielectric grease on those connectors as well. Ignition coils in. I think it's a little bit easier to plug them in now instead of securing ignition coil in first. I'm going to use quarter inch ratchet to secure those bolts tighter. 
good. Now I'm gonna secure this fuel guardrail protection, whatever it's called. Same thing, two 10 millimeter bolts. Now I'm gonna put everything back here. Before putting this air filter box in, I'm gonna clean it. Gonna hand tight this nut and this 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna put this filter in, put this piece back. this one in let's see if this one's gonna work here yes perfect now I'm gonna work on this part which I believe is tougher or so I heard but we are about to find out for sure disconnect battery I'm gonna put correct bracket here and I'm gonna cut this rope off. I'm gonna remove the battery. As you can see, a lot of oil on ignition coils and looks like it's coming from ignition coils down on top of valve cover. Doesn't look bad at all. I'm gonna start by removing this fuel line cover, just like on the other side, it's two 10 millimeter bolts. Mm. It's interesting that on this one I have this foam, on another one I did not. I'm gonna wipe this portion just to get a little bit of the oil and grease out of there hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to work on I'm gonna start with removing two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the ignition coils in so obviously a lot of oil let's see if I'll be able to disconnect this Okay, that's the other one. A lot of oil as well. I'm gonna start by removing two 10 millimeter bolts in the middle. I'm gonna remove three bolts from under the vehicle. As you can see here, you can see easily all three bolts. Very easy to get access to. You don't need many tools here to get it done. We got left to remove three bolts on top. Okay, all bolts are out. And I think we can try to remove this valve cover. the 
spark plug tube seals I'm gonna try to remove spark plugs Next one's probably gonna be tougher. New original spark plug. And torque spec, I believe it's about 12.5 foot per pound. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna clean this area from liquid gasket. I'm gonna use Honda Bond. Gonna quickly put two of those. We're gonna do a final wipe around the area. Okay, I'm ready to put the valve cover in. Now let's get it secured. Secure it following sequence and service manual. Okay, now let's work on ignition coils. I'm gonna clean those up with brake cleaner. And just a bit of dielectric grease. Just a bit of dielectric grease here too. Let's get first one in. Second one. Secure it, make sure you don't over tighten it. Now we're gonna secure the fuel line, protector, rail, whatever it's called. Gonna put this back in place. Put this cover back on. Now let's work on the battery. Gonna install new Subaru bracket. Got it off Amazon. 
think it's about 20 bucks has everything I need if you need to replace yours I put Amazon link for this product at the bottom of this video so here's the top bracket here's the part number here's one rod that's a long one and it looks like long one gonna be on this side short rod it's gonna be on this side and two nuts and long one is wrong I'll start by connecting positive before I do that I'm gonna put battery cleaner protectant now we're gonna work on negative I was a bit confused before but this side I thought it goes like this but it actually goes like this let's see if it's gonna work That looks pretty high, but I double checked a bunch of places. I do have correct parts. I think the battery I have is just too small, but that's what came with the vehicle when I purchased it. So when it's time to change the battery, I'll get correct size. Let me know what you think. Does it look like I have wrong parts or it looks like I have small battery? It has been three days. So the curing period for the liquid gasket on the bond is good. Now I'm gonna start the vehicle and check for leaks and then drive around. So far it drives about the same. So it drives about the same, not much difference. So I guess the oil in the spark plugs did not really affect it. I know that if I were to wait longer, eventually the oil would affect spark plugs. Uh, the ignition coils were very oily. So next video we're gonna replace air filter, clean mass airflow sensor, replace PCV valve and hose, clean throttle body and probably do a idle relearn. If you have any questions please let me know. You can buy some of the tools or products I used at Amazon by going to Amazon affiliate links at the bottom of my video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.